Hello, everybody. Oh, crap, my eye! And welcome back to Let's Play The Longest Journey. Let me go to my inventory, because we need something in here. Last time, we made it inside the police station proper, but we can't get into the archives because there there's are. a retinal scanner. We need to get past. Slot. And, okay, this guy is on the toilet. Every time he sneezes, his eye pops out. Because he has a prosthetic eye. We need that eye. Oh, when we try to grab it, he, uh... Oh, crap, my eye! He, uh, yells at us. Anyway, what do we do? Well, we got Guybrush the monkey back. And he has kind of a protruding eye there. I think one of his eyes is falling out. Looks like it. What if we were to replace... The eye came loose. Poor Constable Guybrush. Aww. Well, uh, it's a great big eye on a spring. Let's uh, grab that. Sorry, Guybrush, but I need to borrow your eye for a while. And I don't think you'll be getting it back. Poor Guybrush. Well, better than losing your hand, if you know what I mean, huh? <laughs> Alright, so we have this uh, other eye. We might be able to use that. Hey, leave my eye <laughs> But we can't switch it because every time oh, we go crap, my eye. to do it, he sees us. So what do we do? Let's see, where is it? Somewhere around here. There you are. Oh, it's right Back here. In this slot. Now it's dark, so he won't be able to see. Oh, crap, my eye! You think you'd learn to put your hand over your eye when you sneeze. Alright, now let's switch it. And let's see what happens when he puts it There you are. Back in your slot. That doesn't seem oh, like they'd be caught. God, I'm seeing red! I'm having a stroke! Maria! Maria, go get the doctor fast! I'm seeing red! <laughs> I feel really bad for this guy, to be honest. Anyway, we now have the eye. Lots of puzzles just to get into this one room. Frank Minnelli's synthetic eye. I'm just, um, borrowing it. He'll get it back. Hopefully. <laughs> and here we are in the archives. Alright, so let's take a look around. It's a control panel with a weird keyboard. If I remember my digital history lessons correctly, that's what's called a dot matrix printer. They used that in, like, the 18th century or something. Not quite that far away, but that is a uh, pretty old even for my time. It's a computer from like the Stone Age. I've never seen anything like it outside of a museum. It's a miracle it's still working, let alone in active service. True. So let's uh, use it and get some information. Hi, I'm Frank Minnelli, and I feel really guilty doing this. I, uh, love my wife, Laura, and her birthday is on the 31st of this month, which means... Laura, 0731? Please, 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 please. Come on. Yes! I am oh. so good. Again. <laughs> now, what to search for? I feel bad for Manila too because this is going to be logged as him going after all this information. It says, Welcome to the Newport Police Department computerized archives. All activities logged and monitored. Activities may be used against you by the Internal Affairs Office. Oh, geez. Use of this facility for non departmental purposes is strictly illegal. Please enter your switch query. Well, first things first. So uh, remember, we need, we want to look for his sister as well. Warren's sister, and that's her colonization number. I'd better remember it in case I need it. All right. What if we're ready to play with colonization agenda? 
Also looks for burglaries. So he is a thief, a little liar. And destruction of property. Well, let's delete Whoa. this. Whoa! You think I just killed Warren? <laughs> oh well, he's just gonna have to uh, live with that. At least the cops and corporates won't be after him anymore. Just the morgue. Oh, we have to Presses print that out. Presses are rolling. Now, where's the printer? Okay. That does sound really old. Anyway, we're done with Warren Hughes. We have we got that printed out for him. Let's look at the Vanguard. It's a long shot, but... Right. Um. Before we do that, let's look up April. Ryan. I'm just gonna make sure there's no warrant or anything out for my arrest. What? Okay. Guess nothing. Erica Hughes. We need to search for his sister. Warren's sister. Please, please let there be something. But we do have. It's the only lead I have, so if this falls through, I'm out of luck. There we go. Ah, Erica Drake, that's the thing. Hmm. So I guess they changed her last name. Talked about Lieutenant Carol Drake, da da da. Her parents died? No. You better get a hard copy of this for Warren. All right. Now let's get to the nitty gritty. The Church of Voltec is the front of the Vanguard use here in Stark, so there must be at least some information available. Hmm. Jacob McAllen. Cardinal? What the hell is that? I should keep that name in mind, though. It could turn out to be important. Information protected and classified under the Religious Secrecy Act. That's weird. I'm, not, I'm all for, you know, separation of church and state and freedom of religion, but that looks uh, sketchy. So, Jacob McGowan. The so called White Cardinal. This kind of reminds me of a uh, Gabriel Knight oh. 3. Here for another please report to supervisor. Uh oh. Um, oh, I feel so bad. What the? Hmm. One second. Okay, sorry about that. I was remembering that I need to remember those symbols that are in the bottom right. So let me just, I have my phone here to take a picture. If you have a pen and paper, you can write them down. I'm not sure if these symbols are going to be the same or different for people, but you actually have to remember. Uh, she, April isn't going to remember on her I own. have no idea what that is. All right. So, uh, what we want to do, we now want to go to this control panel. And, see, they're the same symbols. So, hmm, what is this going to open up? Let's put let's this one. Then it was this one. Then this one. And I believe this one. Ah, oh, I see. So we have a storage code. What did we get? There's nothing in here. Oh, except for a tiny data cube. It's a tiny data cube with a non-standard interface. It probably won't work on the screen we have at home. Well, what can we do with that? Nothing. But it's a lead. Anyway, let's uh, 
grab these. And we are done here. Sorry, Detective Finelli. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So, let us now go back to Warren with our information. I don't want to know what he's doing. Oh, I hope. <laughs> it's if I hope it's just peeing. <laughs> That's. Oh man. Oh jeez. Anyway, enough about that. Let's say he's not important. Anyway, Mr. Warren Hughes. How did it go? Did you get the information? Is my sister okay? It wasn't easy, but I did it. Your sister's fine. You don't have to worry about the law or the corporates anymore. That's great. That's... Thank you. Really. Thank you. So do you have the information for me? Sure, right here. Yeah, if you don't have it, you have to go all the way back and print it out. Listen, Warren. Your parents... They're... They're dead. But your sister's okay. She's been adopted by some woman named Drake, a die. lieutenant with the Wakamba Mercer Corporation. My sister's a corp brood? And my... my parents. You know that should hurt, but it doesn't. I don't feel anything. My parents left me a long time ago. But my sister, I gotta find her. I'm sure you will, Warren. Hey, wait a minute. You killed me? Thanks a lot. <laughs> When you're dead, nobody cares. The cops are not going to be chasing after you for crimes committed by a dead guy. Yeah, you're right. But I'm going to have a tough time getting a new ID. You should have just wiped my record clean. I'm not complaining, though. I'm better off now than I was a few hours ago. So what can I do for you now, sister? Well, I tried to press the delete button and it just killed you. I don't know. Can you put me in touch with your friend now? Yeah, for the information you needed? Right. You got it. Head on out to the Newport docks, down in the outskirts of the city. It's all deserted now since they stopped using the boats for cargo shipments. Head across the construction yard to a large garage. You can't miss it. It's got all these large tubes outside. Knock three times on the door and tell Burns Flipper, and this guy's weird, so don't mind the stuff he says. Tell the Flipper that I sent you. I'll call ahead to let him know you're coming. He should be able to help you out with almost everything you need to know, okay? Thanks. Where does your friend live again? Burns Flipper? I'll go to the Newport docks, knock three times on the large garage door, he'll let you in. Okay. Newport Bye, docks. Warren. Hey, keep it cool, sister. So we have a new diary entry. It's been a while. <clears throat> Still Sunday, surprise. I got in, I got out, I got a glorious career in crime ahead of me if I want. And I feel so good. My parents would be so proud of me, a little Miss Criminal. That's me. Whatever. At least I got the name and location of Warren's friend, the so-called Burns Flipper. Is that an actual name? His shop is down by the Newport docks. It is an old garage. Knock three times on the door, Warren told me. I'm surprised I don't have to say open sesame as well. Hopefully this guy, uh, Flipper, will be able to help me locate the Vanguard Church of Boltec. This afternoon, I have to meet up with Cortez again, and I'd prefer to have some solid information to share with him. So let's do that. Do that, do that. So we probably have to go off through the subway again. Ah, we have that new location now. It's Newport Docks. So let's go upstairs. And where 
is. The shipyard's been closed down, but all the machines are still there. It's a wonder nobody's bothered to dismantle it to prevent accidents. Well, this is a d dystopian world for you. Hey, run, 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 run. Jeez. This is huge. It's a rickety ladder. I don't think we'll ever actually have to use that. That might be mistaken, though. Skip, skip, skip. This must be the place. Where there's ventilation, there's life. Makes sense. The doors are closed. Well, let's get them open. Two. Can you just do it on your own? You're trespassing. You gotta leave now. Where'd that come from? I'm April Ryan, Warren's friend. I don't know anybody named Ryan, so how about fucking off? Hey. Warren called you on my behalf. Warren Hughes, you know Warren, right? Didn't I tell you to fuck off? Yeah, but... So, fuck off already. Am I stuttering here? Jesus H. Christ, you'd think that fuck off would be clear enough as it is for even a slag like you to understand. Slag. I'm not a slag! Ah, so you're a gangbanger. Baby, there ain't enough here worth shit, you know? I got no beef with your posse, so... Fuck off! No! No, I'm... A corp? Yeah, I'd recognize a corp bitch anywhere. I'm legit, no funny stuff. Got my corp permit right here in my little hand two weeks ago. And I only do inventory by appointment, so you're gonna have to phone me up there, toots. Could you, like, shut up for just one second? Chill out! I'm April Ryan. I'm a friend of Warren's, who apparently is a friend of yours. And he called you a short while ago to let you know he's cashing in on a favor. Does any of this ring a bell? Ring a bell? Ding dong, the witch is dead. What are you, like a cliche movie chick? Yeah, it fucking rings a bell, but not the bell you'd like to hear. Think it was born yesterday? Like jacking in on a satellite conversation isn't in the fucking guidebook, the good corporate surveillance? Jesus! Corps always underestimate the blipper. Like I fight because I see a babe in tight pants. I don't think so. You can see me. You know, if the fate of two worlds didn't depend on me, I'd tell you to go straight to hell. Did I mention blow me, baby? Could you blow me really hard? Well, you're such a bastard! Listen! If I was out to arrest you, don't you think I'd have brought an army of corporate goons? You got a point. April Ryan, huh? Shit, my channel warm was scrambled anyway. Top of the line African scrambler. Fucking impossible to hack unless you're the flipper. <laughs> you're telling me that, that you knew who I was the whole time? Are you a psychopath or something? Or something. Sure, babe. Hey, hold on. Oh, this guy. <laughs> he is definitely an interesting character. To say the least. And we are indeed being watched. But that conversation went way longer than I thought, and there's going to be a lot more conversation coming very soon. I know what you're saying. There's light down there, but the pit's too deep to see anything. So, I'm just going to end it off here, session of industries, industries. Anyway, what will Flipper be able to do for us? Maybe he'll be able to get through that data cube we got? Well, you're just going to have to find out if he can next time on Let's Play The Longest Journey. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.